Welcome to the conversation. Today we've got the honor of speaking with uh, Professor Françoise Barré-Sunoussi, Nobel laureate and who's here at the uh, AIDS 2014 conference. Welcome. Uh, terrific to have you in, in Melbourne. I guess just with respect to the fact that we have had the tragedy of, uh, of MH17, what impact do you think that will have on the conference? First of all, I mean, everybody is in shock. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we are all uh, thinking about uh, our colleagues, our yeah. friends. Yeah. We are thinking about uh, all the other passengers as well. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a real tragedy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, it was uh, very important for us, you know, thinking about uh, our colleagues yeah. uh, to move on uh, and to uh, show people that we will continue. Yeah, yeah. We will continue the fight yeah. and uh, this is the best uh, tribute I think we can I honor them. Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps you could tell us a little about your work um, and as a Nobel laureate, really you know, how did that start? What were the key moments, I guess, of your discovery of the virus and, and in some ways how has that uh, impacted on, on your life? Of course, the first thing was uh, the contact with the clinician in my country, in France. Uh, Willy Rosenbaum uh, was among the first clinicians recognizing uh, patients mm -hmm. with uh, this new emerging disease. Came, he yeah. came at Pasteur Institute and, uh, and called, you know, virologists at Pasteur, uh, especially uh, virologists working with his family of viruses, mm -hmm. uh, the retrovirus. Uh, and it's how we, we really started to work mm -hmm. together with, uh, with Willie, uh, with other clinicians as well, and virologists from hospital. And uh, we defined uh, a strategy to try to isolate the virus from uh, if it was a virus. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's how Willie uh, uh, decided to ask a patient uh, with uh, lymphadenopathy, generalized lymphadenopathy. Mm -hmm. Uh, whether he, uh, he will accept a lymph node biopsy. The lymph node biopsy arrived at Pasteur in the beginning of January uh, 1983. Mm. And uh, two weeks later, uh, we had the first sign in the culture yeah. of uh, a virus from uh, that family. Mm. Uh, we had the mm, surprise, the bad surprise, to see that the cells were dying. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, at that time, was a blood bank at Pasteur. We crossed the street, had cells from Madonna, and again, the virus started to uh, uh, replicate again. Uh, we uh, were able to detect, and then it was, you know, starting to characterize the virus, uh, uh, showing that this virus was not uh, similar to the only human retrovirus that was known at that time, HT and still known at that today, mm -hmm. HTLV family. Yeah. Uh, then to make the link between the virus and the disease itself uh, by uh, uh, seroepidemiological studies, by also uh, trying to isolate the virus from other patients, uh, starting to make a diagnostic test, uh, both for the serological epidemiological study, but also for diagnostic, mm. uh, and uh, uh, starting to uh, study the biology of the virus, what was the target cells, uh, what was the, uh, the, 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 the characteristic of the reverse transcriptase, starting to characterize the genome of the yeah. virus. So everything really started uh, very it must rapidly. Have been a very exciting time, was it? I mean, also an intellectually very, uh, very, very, very challenging. Very, very busy, yeah. uh, challenging, uh, but uh, also uh, uh, an exciting time because each time, you know, that uh, we were, as we do always in science, you, you make an but this is you, you, you ask a question and you, yeah. you, you test that question, you, you define an approach to answer to that question, and the answer is the one you were expecting. Yeah. Yeah. This is not so often <laughs> in science, I must say, but that period was yeah. wonderful for yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, it must have been awfully, um, in some ways, energizing and draining by virtue of the hours that you were working. 
But it was also a difficult period because, uh, of course, it was scientifically speaking very exciting. Yeah. But as human being, it was a lot of uh, pressure. Yeah. Uh, because for me, as I'm not a doctor, uh, yeah. I'm a, a scientist. It was the first time in my life really to be in, in, in direct contact with the people affected by, uh, by this disease. Uh, 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 because they were coming yeah. at Pasteur, wanted to know better about the vir um, uh, virus and so on. And that was really dramatic. Yeah. To so you see. Hadn't, that hadn't been in your training. Yeah. 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 Can you tell us about that time in, uh, I think, in the US when a, when a very sick patient actually asked to see you? Oh, that was in, in San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, that San Francisco was strongly affected, in particular the, the homosexual population. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I was invited to give a, a talk uh, on, on the virus. And at the end, uh, Paul Volbeding, a uh, clinician, uh, there asked me whether I will accept to, um, to visit a mm -hmm. patient mm -hmm. in, was in the uh, emergency uh, room. And I, I say yes, and of course it was dramatic because the guy was really dying right, and, right. Uh, and was almost not able to speak. Right. Uh, I we took my hands. I, I still really? feel that yeah. moment, yeah. you know, he took my hands and said something that I had some difficulty to understand and uh, reading on, on the, his lips, I, I found thank you. Really? So thank you. I look at uh, Paul, at the clinician, and say, why? Why? Yeah. Uh, and he ask, uh, and I ask uh, the guy, and he said, I could recognize not for me, for the others. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's the moment uh, in my life that I will remember forever. Yeah. And and is that in some ways st stimulated, just sort of? Your oh yeah, 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 yeah. That gives you, you know, some uh, some yeah. strength and say, okay, uh, yeah, we mm. have to move and yeah. to move on as fast as possible. Yeah. And yeah. so, I, and I think the the the, the HIV AIDS community did quite well. Really, yeah. uh, it was a, a really a, a mobilization, a solidarity Amazing. in the, in yeah. the in the 80s, which yeah. is uh, unprecedented. Yeah. And, and people say that, in, I mean, in the first decade, we learned more about HIV than we'd learned about many other diseases sure. maybe in a century. Yeah. And even in the last three years, we've, we've learned more about it maybe than we have before that. Why, why do you think there is this, this such dramatic increase in rapidity of, of scientific knowledge? Uh, first of all, uh, because of this solidarity yeah. between the scientists, yeah. the, the, the clinicians, the health professionals yeah. all together, yeah. working also together with the uh, representative mm. of uh, uh, the patients, mm. uh, I think it's the, the, this network mm. and partnership and between, be we, we, we call us, the HIV AIDS community. Yeah. Uh, we've never seen that before. I don't yeah. think in any yeah. other disease yeah. you have this, the same kind of yeah. thing. You say the scientific community. Yeah. Yeah. But for us, we don't say the scientific yeah. community. Yeah. We say the HIV AIDS community. That is everybody yeah. together. Yeah. Uh, really fighting yeah. you know, f uh, with the same objective, the same goal. Yeah. Yeah. To try to do the best for the affected population. Yeah. Now, the other thing that seems apparent, I mean, it was interesting that Willie Rosenbaum would come to you with the, the clinicians coming to you. Uh, you certainly don't seem to be living in an ivory tower, um, that you're prepared, obviously, to communicate with clinicians, work with clinicians and with the community at large. Is that, has that sort of characterised your career, that you're, you, you like to work with uh, other parts probably of the Probably, first of all, you know, I, I made all my career at the Pasteur Institute. Yeah. And this is, as far as I, I was educated yeah, like that, yeah. for me, this is the mission of the Pasteur Institute. Really, yeah, yeah. Uh, Louis the, Pasteur, the, of, Louis, yeah. the, the, the spirit of Louis mm. Pasteur, the yeah. vision of Louis mm. Pasteur was really mm -hmm. to develop uh, uh, science was there to answer and to bring benefit to mankind. Yeah. 
mm. uh, everywhere in the world. Mm. It's how mm. we pastors started, mm. you know, to mm. make mm. pastor institute in different parts of the world. Mm. Uh, so I was myself educated mm. uh, according to the pastor spirit, but I did not, I must confess, uh, that I did not realize totally what that means mm. until mm. HIV AIDS came along. Came along. Mm. Mm. And I mean, in the spirit of that also, I mean, you famously wrote an open letter to, the, to Pope Benedict in 2009. Why, why did you do that? And, and, and do you think it is the part of the scientist's job to, uh, to be advocating in that way? Sure. Uh, I mean, the scientists are certainly uh, trying to do their best to, mm. Uh, mm. Uh, to make uh, progress in science to, for the benefit of human beings. But when you see that uh, when there are scientific uh, evidences, like it was uh, still for the condom, yeah. And you have uh, a person who is a pope, but it could be uh, anybody else, I mean, <laughs> or me, yeah, president of a country mm. or whatsoever. Mm. As we've heard other presidents uh, say the same thing. Uh, mm. Saying just before arriving in a country where you know it's very sensitive mm. and the voice of someone like a, the pope is very important, yeah. saying that the condom are not efficient, this is, you cannot, yeah. you have to do something. You can't be silent. Yeah. Because yeah. this is not true. Mm. Mm. We mm. as a scientist, we know that the mm. condom are efficient. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the reason why I decide the, with two other colleagues to uh, wrote a letter to mm. the Pope mm. saying that uh, we are sorry, but mm. Uh, mm. we have, uh, maybe you are not aware, but we can provide you all the data that are very solid showing that the condom are very, very efficient. Mm. So mm. please, it's a mistake we feel when you arrive in a country like Cameroon to take, to, to have, to make such statement. So please, could you say that the statements were not totally right? <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. it's, uh, it's important for yeah. the life of individuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, it never answered, but uh, that's... Uh, it, it did have a, uh, an important impact, I think, globally. And, and, uh, it had an impact, you know, not so far up after his visit. I, I was myself in, in, in Cameroon, and it turned out that... Uh, uh, some colleagues uh, and mm. people really involved in uh, in HIV already in Cameroon mm. said to me, "Oh, François, you should not have wrote to the Pope because you know he, 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 he probably you did not entirely uh, make the right interpretation of what he wanted to say. He did not really say that the condom was not efficient, but that we have uh, to consider fidelity and." Uh, blah, blah, and blah, blah. I said, look, <laughs> I understood very well mm. uh, what mm. the Pope uh, said, and uh, you have yourself your responsibility mm. as a uh, health professional in your country, mm. I mean, uh, to explain to the population that uh, mm. the condom are efficient. Mm. Unfortunately, in Cameroon or in other countries, uh, I've seen myself, and we all know that uh, uh, there are religious people that are making a wonderful job. It's the reason that make me furious yeah. also, yeah. by the way. Because I know those, some religious people that are distributing condom, making education yeah. uh, of the population to try to prevent HIV infection. It, it was very hard. They made a wonderful job. Yeah. And they have their boss, if I can say yeah. so, yeah. arriving in the country mm. and destroying mm. in a few mm. minutes mm. everything. They've done, yeah. Uh, I mean, this is not acceptable. Yeah. Yeah. And you've been a very strong proponent of, of prevention as well, despite the sort of the... The, well, as well as the major um, progress we're making in terms of, of treatment, you you remain a strong advocate for prevention. For prevention, mm -hmm. for I mean everything which is for the benefit of the population. Mm -hmm. I mean uh, prevention, treatment, care. Uh, I think we it's just a question of respect of life for yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Life is, is the most beautiful thing mm -hmm. in the world. Yeah, yeah, and it should be. 
uh, the things that we should respect the most. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, with that today, you've been at a, uh, a major symposium towards uh, a cure for HIV. What's been the major news to, to come out of the symposium? To tell you the truth, I, I, I cannot answer because uh, I'm so busy that I have not been <laughs> able myself uh, to attend the yeah. symposium. Yeah, yeah. I will know mm, during the next yeah, few days sure, because sure. my colleague will tell me. Yeah, yeah, sure. uh, but uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, as I said, the closing, uh, it's what is frustrating to be part of uh, the organization and yeah, not yeah. be able to, yeah. to, to, to really hear. Uh, what was going on uh, during the symposium. I know, however, that uh, it has been uh, some presentation regarding um, new drugs yeah. and trying to uh, uh, reactivate cells that uh, yeah. carry uh, the virus uh, uh, in patients that are on treatment, the reason why we cannot stop the treatment. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, it's uh, promising, but it's Pre still preliminary. As we've done for a number of AIDS conferences. <laughs> yes, that, that's right, but that, that's science. I it mean, is. it's how yeah. we yeah. progress. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's important to, to yeah. present the data anyway, and because also we have to think about combining this approach to others. Mm. Uh, I know that it has been also uh, more data presented about, uh, regarding vaccine candidates using uh, cytomegalovirus as a vector uh, uh, of uh, HIV antigens, showing that uh, this vaccine candidate uh, is very efficient in reducing the size of the reservoir mm. in, the, in the monkey model, uh, associated now to antiretroviral treatment, mm. showing that if we treat uh, very early on, associated with vaccines, then uh, we can reduce more and more the, the size of the reservoir. Mm. So, I mean, this kind of information are critical for the progress of your research. Yeah. The data also on uh, broadly neutralizing antibody uh, are very promising, and that might be a, an approach for the future to associate to a uh, cure strategy. Mm. So, it's, it's progressing. Well, maybe on behalf of all of us at the conversation, can I thank you very much for, uh, for the time you spent with us and just to wish you well in your important role in this uh, AIDS 2014 uh, conference. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you.